pleasant day today. We're gonna try to get rid of some limbs off of this tree. This is my favorite tree on the entire property. The one and only favorite? The one and only favorite. Yeah, I really like this a little oak tree here, but its limbs are too low. And I wanna make sure that we trim them without causing any damage. We're gonna do that. We're also gonna trim some limbs on the neighbor's property that you saw the other day. Let's get started. Now I'm concerned, Christy, about this uh, cutting off these big limbs. I mean, we've trimmed some little ones off yeah. in the past, but but you can see, given that grapple height, you know, even something like that really needs to come off of this tree. Oh, that high? Yeah, I mean, we want to be able to mow under it with right. one of these Johnnies. I know it's going to be pretty aggressive to it, but... Well, I did buy some tree pruning sealer. Yeah. We've heard that's the, the thing to do to try to heal the wound. So we'll, we'll, see if, we'll see if that works. I don't want to lose this little oak tree. You're going to cut and I'm going to grapple? Yeah. Does that work? That works. I'll back out the tractor just so he doesn't get hurt. I'm going to cut the weight bearing part of this off out here a piece. And then I'll try to do the finish cuts even closer. And that way I won't have any splintering on those. I won't have any weight <laughs> to deal with there. Same thing on this one. Now I'll try to see if I can cut it off a little, a little cleaner here. These little electric saws don't make much noise. There's really no need for the hearing protection. Yeah, I wanted to get this done before the uh, tree butted out, you know, before the moisture come back up in the tree. And it's starting to, I can see already, the moisture was already starting to come back up. A little late probably, but that'll be good enough. Maybe I'll get one off here. I'm going to do the same way. How about one off right by you there, Christy? Um, let me move. Go ahead now. Looks like it should be enough, right? You think so? There's one over here on this side that's coming out towards the ground. Okay. Just little ones. This one here looks dead. And how about that little piece that's, yeah. Oh, okay. That one? Yep, that one. It'll be interesting. Once you get started grappling, you can see how you can get around there. Oh, that's true. See if that's gonna be good enough. Here comes the cat to investigate. Cat's like, what did you do to my tree? I climbed that tree. What do you think? Can you still climb the tree, Bullseye? Or did I take off all the limbs you could reach? He's like, I'm not sure about this. And then you're shaking that noisy can. Read the directions or just spray it on? I might would read the directions. You would? Yeah. I wouldn't. Right. The directions say read directions before use. Well, that's what you should do then. Shake well, spray with can upright, six inches from the area to be sprayed, with nozzle pointed away from the eyes. Well, that's a good point. Spray in short bursts using even strokes. Trees can be pruned anytime, however, the best time is during the dormant season. When removing branches, make cuts at the trunk or fork of the tree at a slight angle cutting just beyond the branch's bark ridge. Always make clean, sharp cuts. I think you did that pretty well, at least. Those don't look too bad, do they? No. You got the wrong color. They didn't have oak color. <laughs> they just had one version. <laughs> Get it good and thick here. It's supposed to be uh, watertight. I think it's to keep this from rotting, right? So that the yeah. tree doesn't rot in. Okay, that's a pretty big one there. It'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah. Smells like paint. Christy's always bothered by the petroleum type smell of paint. Yeah, 
few of you are probably already typing at your keyboard saying we don't have any three-point ballast on the tractor. Well, you caught us. I didn't even think about it till the project was over and then I looked and saw, uh-oh, I'm going to be in trouble for that. We do have the rim guard in the rear tires and the wheel weights, so with these light loads we didn't really see any issue. Still, I do think three-point ballast is very important and I don't like to show the loader in action without it. So, do as I say, not as I do. That was no bueno. The biggest trick of using a grapple is to make sure you keep squeezing as you pick it up. Now the blue X on Johnny here again is reminding us that it's Johnny X. So it does have the improved hydraulic flow and the improved hydraulic pressure. Again, not endorsed by anyone, including Tractor Time with Tim. Little loaders don't lift real high. It's one of the reasons we don't recommend the mechanical grapples, the ones that have to be curled all the way down to clamp. We, we just don't think there's sufficient lift height with these little loaders to be able to handle that. It's as high, far back as it'll tilt, too. Hey, this tree pruning sealer is not a sponsored product. I'll still try to find it and put it on my Amazon store. We've used it in the past just to try to keep from that cut rotting and uh, it seems to work pretty well, but maybe it's just to make me feel good, I don't know. But it is not sponsored. We just bought it at Menards. Limbs like these are pretty common right on the edge of a woods. We might call it a fence row. You can see how the tree's grown up fairly straight, leaning outward just a little bit. But then a lot of these limbs will come out horizontally and they will go and go and go. This one's 20 feet long at least. And it'll just get worse and worse and worse. They'll grow out into your, to your yard. So we're gonna cut along here so that he can mow right back up next to these trees again. Not really trying to take out any of the trees themselves, just the uh, limbs that have overgrown this, this way. We could use the limb saw for this, but I don't think there's any need since they're all reachable from the ground. It's better to use the limb saw when, it's, when they're higher. Um, of course, I suppose, you know, you can use them when they're lower as well, but uh, we, don't, we don't really need that. This is the MSA 200 saw. It works really well. I like the combination of lightweight and power for limbing operations like this. You probably still can't get under here, can you, Christy? Probably not. Getting close now. Have to get the limb saw to get anything taller. That poison ivy, or uh, it's either that or a grapevine. It's hard to tell. Some of it looks like poison for sure. Probably that part that's rubbing all over me. Yeah. So you might be able to push most of these down here in one push. One of the hardest parts is getting things lined up with your tractor. What I mean lined up, I mean crossways. There, she's getting them. Let me get all of them, or most of them anyway. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Not so sweet. I was trying to keep my hand on the... You yeah. weren't squeezing though. You were, you were doing everything but squeezing. Okay. The first rule of grappling is to, is to squeeze. 
squeeze. I am. Let go of everything else. It's not going to do two at once. Okay. Squeeze. Yeah, the third function kit, this is a weakness of it. You'll never get the two functions at once with the third function kit on these tractors. With a diverter, even though theoretically you cannot do two functions at once, it's actually easier in practice because you can just simply let off the button and push the button, basically toggle it back and forth. She tips it forward, and now she's going to clamp. Yeah, double and triple clamp. That's the way we get her. Oh shoot, sawed right into a barbed wire fence. Wasn't watching my business, oh well. How are you getting along with Johnny X? Pretty good. I hey. noticed that you're running at an idle. Oh. Well, I am in here. When I get out, I'll... Well, we couldn't have done that before we had the hydraulic flow. It would have been so slow. Oh. But with the additional hydraulic flow of the Hydros Plus... Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It feels like I have more control. Well, a little more control and it just it's quieter and not, it doesn't feel like right. you're screaming and all. But, uh, right. But when I get out past there, I'll, uh, I put it in high range and go sure. a little faster to the pile. A couple of trees I have to make sure I don't hit. Mm -hmm. with the... I'll go around to the other end here and see if there's any limbs down there to get. But other than that, I think we're about done with yeah. the limbs.
don't have a hope of everything. I had a hold of a lot of it, and then I let go to try and get a better hold. Ugh. Sometimes. I'll just have to get that one later. Well, I think that's about it for this project. Yep. I'm going to turn the tractor back over to you for a few last loads. Okay, that'll work fine. I uh, think we've done pretty good here for the neighbor. And getting some of these limbs, he's got a 2032R first generation. He has trouble getting under the limbs, and uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just seemed to me like they ought to be trimmed off, so he wasn't out here, so I trimmed some of them. Somebody asked the other day, too bad they didn't come out. They work during the day, so but they let us play in their yard when they're at work. And they came out afterwards and they were thrilled with what we had done. Yes. So they were. the three to five feet thing was mainly teasing on my part. Yeah. Uh, we knew they wanted more than three to five feet. We, y you kind of learn when you talk with right. people over the years. You, right. you learn what they mean. Um, sometimes it's not exactly what they say. Exactly. And now they've marked some trees for us not to take, and anything else is kind of fair game. Yeah. And so what we'll do is we'll keep doing it a little bit at a time. Yeah. And checking back in for their approval. Right. And if they say, you know, that's 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 about too much, we'll we'll just stop and and, and uh, you know move on to another area. Right. And this way we can kind of keep up with them, and we, we can keep the projects kind of short as we go. And right. So little Johnny X. I like. I, I like the additional hydraulic flow. It'll, I can hear him whistle too. Yeah. <laughs> whistle while you work. <laughs> the blue X's. Yep. Uh, that's just to demark this as being Johnny X. We're still working on the longer term solution for that. Yeah. Oh, I'm not supposed to say solution. Somebody got upset at me for saying solution too often. Bad boy. We're working on a longer term plan so that you can recognize Johnny X, but uh, uh, I just don't have time to manage it. And so I'm kind of moving slowly at it. Need a manager to keep pushing that process along. She's too busy too. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. What's the matter? Cat just meowed. Here, come here. Come here. He wants to lay down about 25 foot from you and roll, like, come on over here and scratch me. Yeah. You can meow and try to get us over there, can't you? But you're not going to come over and visit us, stubborn cat.